to an article from Evolution News and Views. A recent article on Silence Daily titled New Evolutionary History of Primates claims that by combing through genetic data of 54 genes, the variety of primates researchers have created a robust new phylogenetic tree which resolves many long-standing issues with primate taxonomy. That sounds great until you get to the fine print. The paper used dozens of genes of large-scale sequencing to create the phylogeny, a method which is designed to smooth over conflicts between trees based upon individual genes. This method fails to test whether individual genes paint a consistent picture of common descent. Moreover, even using this method, not everything about the tree is neat and tidy. Even when using other genes to construct the tree, the paper reports that there are a variety of potential subtrees which conflict with one another. However, the great frequency of phylogenic inconsistencies and un or unresolved nodes occur in these subset trees compared with the entire uh, con con uh, concatenated uh, data set. For example, indeed, uh, such phylogenic inconsistencies between different phylogenic trees are not common at all, particularly in important parts of the purported primate tree. <coughs> Excuse me. While this paper <coughs> used methods that smoothed over conflicts between trees, another recent paper found primate phylogenetic phyl uh, data that pointed to in opposite directions. A recent article on Science Daily titled Genetic Ar uh, Archaeology finds parts of human genome more closely related to orangutans than chimps. It states, in a study published online in Genome Research, in coordination with the publication of the orangutan genome sequence, scientists have presented the surprising finding that Although orangutans and humans are more distantly related, some regions of our genomes are more alike those of our closest living relative, the, the chimpanzee. Of course, this finding is surprising because it contradicts that phylogenic, uh, the, the phylogeny preferred by most evolutionists. The Science Daily article noted about 5.5 percent of our genome we are clo more closely we are closely related more closely related to orangutans than to chimpanzees. And in about 0.5%, chimpanzees are closer related to orangutans than us. And the paper cited concluded. Our analysis finds that for 0.8%, uh, roughly, of our genome, humans are more closely related to orangutans than chimpanzees. Isn't this funny, guys? You see, we've been told that orangutans, I mean the chimpanzees, the bonobo specifically, is our closest li rel living relative. And now, genetics is pointing to chimpanzee, uh, orangutans instead. Isn't it funny? And the, pro the problem with that is, uh, orangutans are structurally less like a chimpanzee in their skeleton than a chimpanzee, uh, I mean, less like an orangutan than a chimpanzee. Do you see? The problem, the evolutionist looks at creatures and because of visual similarities, they apply their I imagined evolution and, and relatedness, their phylogeny, their taxonomy, you see? And yet here's something that's contradicting there. Of course, because man is not related to apes. That's the facts. Since humans t are typically said to be more closely related to chimps, this data conflicts with the standard supposed tree. As discussed here, the basic problem is one is that one gene gives you one version of the tree, while another gene gives you a, com a very different version of the tree. This leads to discrepancies between the molecule-based trees, wherein DNA fail data fails to provide a consistent picture of common ancestry. We've discussed a number of ex such examples lately, such as here, here, and here, and they provided links, which I do not in this uh, copy uh, of their article. Jonathan M. also cites a discordant data uh, pertaining to human chimp phylogenetics here, and there would have been the link there. 0.8% of our genome might not sound like a lot, but that equates to over 20 million base pairs. That means that's over 500 times more raw genetic information than was used in the PLOS genetics paper to purportedly create a robust phy new phylogenetic tree. Is supposedly pointing out, uh, pointing in the wrong direct, uh, phylogenetic direction. Hmm. Perelman's uh, paper uh, in, in PLOS Genetics could only find a robust new phylogenetic tree after using methods that are designed to avoid this problem and ignore conflicts between trees. That might sound good, but their methods are wholly assuming rather than testing common descent. 
That brings us to a final point in, in this discussion. In the end, molecular trees are based upon the sheer assumption that the degree of genetic similarity reflects the degree of evolutionary relatedness. One paper makes this assumption explicit. I quote, molecular systematics is based on the assumption, first clearly articulated by Zuckerland and Pauling, that the degree of overall similarity reflects the degree of relation relatedness. This assumption drives the interpreting molecular similarity or dissimilarity between taxa of the context of the Darwinian model of con continual and gradual change. Review of this molecular uh, hi uh, history of molecular systematics and its claims in the context of molecular biology reveals that there is no basis for the molecular assumption. For historians and philosophers of science, the questions that arise are now belief in the infallibility of molecular data for reconstructing evolutionary relationships emerged and how this belief came so became so central. In other words, the data work, doesn't work, folks. Molecular uh, uh, similarities in genetics do not provide evidence of evolution. I'll point out one more evidence. The hot swap points of DNA between humans and chimpanzees is almost completely different. This demonstrates man cannot be related to apes, not to chimpanzees, you see. And this article that I've just been reading for you demonstrates that we're supposedly now more related to, chimpan to uh, orangutans than chimpanzees because of genetics. This is contradicting everything we've been told. Do you see the evolutionist molecular phylogeny and, 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 and similarities idea as evidence of ancestry is bunk. It's not even scientific. It's just assumptions. Clearly, this assumption fails when different genes paint contradictory pictures of evolutionary relationships. But there are other mechanisms that can explain DNA similarities besides inheritance from a common ancestor, as explained here. One equally good explanation for the reason that genetic similarity is continuously being found in places in, in both predicted and unpredicted by common descent could be common design.